Welcome back. A group of Texas lawmakers toured the Permian Basin last week with an EPA administrator for a firsthand look at how the oil field is working to reduce emissions. This visit comes as the EPA is threatening to make the Permian Basin a, quote, non-attainment area for ozone, which could obviously potentially stop oil and gas production. The Permian Basin is the largest oil field in the U.S., producing 6 million barrels of crude oil a day. Joining me right now is Texas Congressman, member of the House Energy and Commerce and Homeland Security Committees, August Pfluger. This is his district. Congressman, thank you so much for being here. You led this tour of the Permian Basin. Tell us about the tour. Well, thanks for having me on with you, Maria. And, you know, we've talked a lot about the Permian Basin, the largest secure supply of oil and gas in the entire world, how important it is to our national security. I've been asking the administration for three plus years to come to the Permian Basin. We know that they have an all-out assault on fossil fuels. That assault is no, nowhere more present than it is here. But in this case, EPA Director, Region 6 Director, Dr. Nance came. You know, look, the, the fact is that they've been threatening lots of different things. We know with endangered species, they use uh, every tool available to try to slow or stop production. They do it all over the country. Uh, but here, the threat of non-attainment, which relates to ozone, and the gases that are being emitted were a concern to the EPA. So I said, why don't you come out here and see that from 2010 to now, we started with a million barrels a day in 2010, and now we're doing almost 6 million barrels a day at this point in time. In 13 to 14 years, we've increased production fivefold, and we've reduced harmful emissions by over 30 plus percent. Nowhere else in the world can you point to a track record like that. When their team saw it, you can't deny the facts you can't deny the fact that we have been doing innovative measures. So if you care about clean air, you want to come here and you want to see the track record that we have while still producing low cost fuel. And I noticed on your show, you talked about inflation. If you really care about inflation, you would unleash American energy. And that unleashing of American energy starts in the Permian Basin in Midland and Odessa, Texas. So, so tell me, Congressman, what this non-attainment idea would mean for the Permian Basin if, in fact, that would be the result? Well, it would just increase the bureaucratic red tape. It would mean that you would have to uh, apply for and you know, be given more permits. It would mean the federal government would be more involved in the process of drilling and establishing pipelines and tank batteries mm -hmm. and every piece and part of the oil and gas industry that we rely on, not just here for our own country, for our own economy, but also to export to our partners and allies, it would make it more difficult, more expensive. And you know who's going to pay for that? It, it's not the administration that's going to pay for that. It's going to be consumers, everyday consumers, which again adds to that inflationary number that we're all suffering under. Well, I mean, this is incredible that that would impact the U.S.'s ability to be an independent producer, as this is the single largest area for capacity of oil and gas, arguably in the world, certainly in the United States, we know that, but isn't it one or two or three in the world as well? Absolutely. If this yeah. was a country, if the Permian Basin was a country, it would be number two or three in the world as wow. a producer. This is the, the most important piece of energy security is understanding that we have gone from scarcity just about 10 to 15 years ago, thinking that we were at peak oil now to energy dominance and independence.